welcome to the Nalini Kids One Word Workout. Every exercise uses one word to help strengthen your body and your mind. In each exercise, think of three things. The one word, your form, and your posture. You got it? Are you ready to have some fun? I know I am. Let's do this. Calm, pleasantly free, peaceful, and not disturbed. Calm, let's connect to feeling calm. Swan arms. Start with your feet, hip width distance apart and parallel. Stand tall, opening the chest. Roll your shoulders down your back. Have your arms long down by your sides. Flip your palms, and as you breathe in, circle your arms out and up, connecting your hands at the top. Flip your palms, and then as you breathe out, lower your hands down by your sides. We're going to do five more of those. And remember, breath is a great way to connect to feeling calm. If you want, you can close your eyes for this exercise. Let's go. Big breath in, circle the arms out and up, palms touch at the top, standing tall. Flip the palms, circle your arms back down as you breathe out. Inhale, arms reach up, belly in. Flip the palms, circle the arms back down. Number three, reach your arms out and up. Palms connect, flip the palms, circle your arms back down, breathing out. Number four, big inhale as you reach all the way up. Exhale, circle the arms back down. One more. Big breath in, circling your arms out and up. Standing nice and tall. Exhale, arms circle back down. And then stay here for a moment, taking big breaths in and out through your nose. Then flutter your eyes open. That was calm. Love, an intense feeling of deep affection. Let's connect to love with a heart opener. Start in your posture. Find your feet hip width distance apart. Press down through your heels and pull up through your head. Stay tall. Now, find your hands behind your back. We'll press the palms together and open your elbows wide. Your hands might look like this. If that's not working out for you, just hold on to opposite elbows behind your back. Okay, come back to your posture, stand straight. Now, open your chest and close your eyes. Take just a moment here, listen to your breath. Now, think about one thing you love about yourself. Don't worry about any other sounds you might hear from inside or outside the room. Keep thinking about that one thing you love about yourself. Now, Think about one thing you love about your school. Now, think about one thing you love about the world. Open your chest a little bit more.
then release the arms, open the eyes, and feel the love. Fearless, lacking fear or concern. Let's connect to fearless with a warrior hold. Find your posture, draw your head up and press your heels down. Now step your feet wide apart, really wide. Go on the right side, turn your right toes to the right and bend your right knee. Now make sure that your left toes are pointing forward and your right knee is directly over your right heel. Reach your arms long, engage your abs, pull your shoulder blades down your back. We'll stay here for 20 seconds. Draw your fingers further apart from each other like stretching through a rubber band. Listen to your breath. Feel fearless in the amount of space you're taking up. Here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, keep holding, 4, press down through the heels, and straighten the right leg. Now we'll turn the right toes in and find the other side. Turn the left toes to the left, bend your knee. This time make sure the right toes are pointing forward and the left knee is over the left heel. Reach your arms long and we'll start our 20 seconds here. Press down through the heels, pull the shoulder blades down the back, reach your fingers further apart from each other and pull your head up through the ceiling. Almost there, it's nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, that's it, two, one, straighten your leg and heel toe your feet in together. Place your hands on your hips and feel fearless. Safe, protected from or not exposed to danger or risk. Let's connect to feeling safe. Tilted obliques, bring your feet together, thighs together. When you feel safe, you feel open. So go ahead and open up those arms, shoulders back and down. You also feel supported in your core values. So pull in your core, make everything super tight. We're gonna tilt to the right and then to the left. 10 sets, let's go right, center, left, center. Use your abs, two, center, left, and center. Can you reach your arms up higher? Three, center, left, and center. Abs in, four, feet don't move. Left and center, legs super straight, five. Center, left, and center. Open up the chest, six. Center, left, and center. Use your abs, seven. Center, left, and center. Three more, eight. Center, left, and center. Two more, nine. Center, left, and center. One more, right, center, left, center. Hold right here, really pulling. Shoulders back and down, hold it for five. Reach through those fingertips, four. Open up that safety, three, two, and one. Imagine. Form a mental image or concept of to believe something unreal or untrue to exist. Let's connect to feeling imagine with a drum jog. All right, so the first thing I want you to do, this is a fun one. So feet shoulder width apart. I want you to squat down, push your hips back, chest up. You bring your arms across your chest. And I'm going to give you one, just so you can see what we're doing. So you're going to do that, all right? We're going to do it for 30 seconds, all right? Take a deep, big breath, and three, two, one, we're going. I want you to imagine that your floor is your drum set, and your feet are your drumsticks. Keep it up. Nice. Very good. Looking good. Keep it up, keep it up. 15 more seconds. You can do it. Nice. Very good. Staying on the balls of your feet. Five more seconds. We're almost home. We can do it. We can do it. 30 seconds. Good job. As you can see, you're pretty, pretty winded. That was great. That's Imagine with a drum jog. Focus to direct one's attention or efforts. Let's connect to feeling focus with a thigh stretch. You're gonna turn facing the chair. 
You're going to place your right hand on the chair. You're going to grab your left ankle with your left hand. Imagine taking a rubber band and pulling it. That's what you're doing with this stretch. The rubber band is your thigh. To feel the stretch more, you want to bend this left elbow, still keeping your chest nice and tall. Very good. Now I want you to squeeze the glute, your butt, standing still, nice and tall. Let's do two breaths. Very good. Now let's do the other side. Bring your left foot down. Place your left hand on the chair, standing nice and tall. Grab your right ankle. Pull it back. Make sure that your knee is pointing straight down to the floor. Remember, to feel the stretch more, bend that right elbow, keeping the chest nice and tall. Tuck your glute, your butt. Let's do two breaths. Very good. That was focus with a stretch of the thigh.